Hello, hello! Welcome to Dear Namaste. My name is Dear, and I wanna send you magical dream come true, pure crystal light and love. If you are interested in private reading, please check the description box. Or if you want to win a free reading giveaway that I will give away every month, um, please do check in the description box as well. Especially if you are watching in February. I'm giving the viewer in YouTube two free reading giveaway because this is my birthday month in February so I wanna give extra back. Um, all you have to do is be a subscriber and uh, click like and comment under the video of the month that you wish to enter the reading, okay? And if you want two chances of winning a free reading giveaway, you also can go look in the Instagram for free reading giveaway as well. Okay, so good luck for everything. First, before we go into the reading, we gonna do love yourself affirmation. This to open up your heart chakra. Please repeat after me. I release the need to judge myself and my body. Self-love comes to me with ease. My relationship with my body is one of perfect harmony. I trust my body's natural wisdom. I trust my gut. I feel at peace with my appearance. I feel completely comfortable with myself and accept myself with love, respect and appreciation. I choose to see this differently. Even though I don't feel worthy right now, I know deep down that I am worthy of love, forgiveness, and healing. Okay, this reading we are gonna be talking about why am I still single? Why are you still single? I have four options for you. Option number one is gonna be with brown stone color, okay? So this one is mahogany obsidian and this one is gold sandstone. For the second one, I am using a blue colored stone, okay? So this is turquoise and uh, so delight. Option number three, I pick green color stone for you. Um, stone number one is malasite stone and jade. For pile number three, I chose a translucent stone, okay? So um, it's rose cord and uh, opal. Okay, this is pile number one, two, three, four. Number one with the brownish color stone, number two with blueish color stone, number three with greenish color stone, and number four is with translucent stone. I wish you the best of luck in this picking, okay? Please pause at least three minutes before you pick the pile and do a little bit of meditation um, to really calling the angel for you to pick the right power for you okay call the power that calling your name the most i will see you on the other side bye let's see what's the first power is having for you first of all i'm gonna talk about the stone first so stone number one is 
Mahogany, obsidian, this stone is all about protection, release, limitation, self-confidence, clearing away all the negative belief, especially the beliefs that resulting from an abuse in the relationship. And the stone number two is gold sandstone. This is to increase your drive and confidence and your ambitions. This stone will uplift your spirit. Okay. And now let's go and look at the card. See. You are safe. Breathe. Why? I put this here. Why? Milk and honey. Imagine. Seven of sword. Temperance. Nine of Pentacle. Faith meeting. Calling your soulmate. Heart to heart conversation. And then you have the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meet your eyes. Miracle and blessing. And then you have you are limitless. Okay, the reason you are why you are still single why am i still single where why you are still single as you can see from the stone already that let me put the stone over here okay for the people who are um picking this pile i feel like first book of all we are talking about the stone right you have gold sandstone with glitters and uh you have mahogany obsidian mahogany obsidians like you know when it come to obsidian it have a power of protection i feel like in your past in your um it could be your past life as well but i mean if this happened in your childhood or when you were younger it could be that as well because there's have been an abuse there's an abuse happening to you in the past this could be the abuse from words or from abuse from uh, body or spirit i feel like there's some people in your life in the past that have been doing that to you so you are you are keeping everything in secret i feel like um because of all the hurt and pains you are actually not very easily open up to people i feel like of course you are kind to people you are a very kind-hearted person you always always giving all the time that's why you almost always attracted those people who love to abuse other people or love to use other people because you are kind-hearted person you always give your service out to the world you're always so caring and you know you always forgive them so i feel like when it comes to new love um when it comes to uh being in a relationship with someone because while you were dating while you were seeing each other not officially boyfriend girlfriend yet they have been abusing your good heart it's so okay you have really good heart you have really pure kind heart and while you guys dating or talking they have been abusing like the person you are in a romantic situation with 
they have been abusing your heart and soul and i feel like the reason you are still single because um when it comes to committing to to the relationship you are also a little bit scared because um the people that you are coming across they always abuse you in some way so in a way even if you want to be together with them some kind of like a red flag is popping up as well it's making you like not sure it's making you like not sure about this person plus you are not also, also you are not really opening um truly hardly to them yet or if, even if you do they abuse your heart so much that you know you just feel like you rather be single or If, for example, like you might like give, 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 and they are like take, 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 and you like test the relationship, and you stop giving, they become changed into another person. So they have been. So this person, this like love romantic situation, is have been a lot of giving and no receiving, and that's why I think um all the angels doesn't want you to. Get to be in those relationship because they are toxic relationship. They're not a good hearted soul relationship. Those people also have probably those people that you are dealing with. They also have trauma within themselves. Maybe they got abused emotionally or spiritually, like by people in their life. So when it come to love romantic relationship, they also abuse you. With that as well, they they use you. You know, you know what I mean. Like they, I feel like they kind of like use you as well. So I feel like you have been doing a lot of work. You have been doing a lot of um, law of attraction and calling your soulmate. You have been doing that, and you like wondering how come like have been I have been doing so much work. How come like these person are not coming into my life yet you know you keep wondering that and you know like the spirit the tarot spirit cards just want you to breathe and you know like time will come because like right now the people that you are meeting or you're um, connecting right now to or you been caught in their eye they they're not Like those people are are not the best for you. That's why the angels doesn't want you to be with that them. That's the, that's why the angels just want you to be single. Just want you to close your heart for a bit. I'm not saying that you should like totally like close your heart and don't go to dates and stuff or don't go to, you know, don't open your heart and go to events and stuff to meet people. I don't say that, but the thing is that you have to be very careful of people you are meeting because they just want to use you and they just want to abuse your relationship or abuse your emotion. Like they probably like when they know that you are so easy in terms of like you go give your love so easy, they it's make them feel like oh okay then I don't have. To commit to this person, they're gonna give me anyway. So it's kind of like that coincidence. I want you to go and do my love calling love spell. Like if you are into like spell and witches, or like really into love attraction, I really recommended you to go look at my video. To really help you to boost your law of attraction, because I have been using this law of attraction for a really long time, and I like I think I kind of perfected it. So that's how I found my soulmate as well. Um, for me, it's take me a really long time as well because I feel like I also in the same situation as you. I like I in in the past I have been, um, you know, growing up with those kind of energy. Um, you know. Kind of like Stockholm syndrome, you know. So, um, sometimes like the people who are hurting you the most, you still want to be with them. Okay, so I want you to like take a deep breath and you know like be patient about this because all the angels are protecting you. Um, the reason you still single, the reason you didn't like actually become girlfriend and boyfriend with the person that you really want to be because that person doesn't suit you because that person is very abusive. Or very take 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 like they are take 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 or they like they are narcissistic or they they don't like because you giving them so much like they don't want to give back like they don't want to give back at all. So right now I want you to use a lot of law of attraction to be able to cultivate that good and to be able to cultivate it your. Cleansing of this part of your heart because this part of your heart really need cleansing. I feel like because um of a lot of like past trauma, 
it could be the cause of you attracting those kind of people so if you cleanse your energy there's a blessing coming there's a really beautiful man coming i can see like they are ready to come in to your space to your vibration but right now you need to cleanse the abusive energy like if you have those kind of people in your life um even if it's not a romantic situation even if it's your parents or your friends or people like that do that to you maybe at your workplace my recommendation is that to send a lot of love to them loving energy you know like um maybe write them a letter and uh, forgive them that will cleanse your energy a lot and especially if you do uh heart chakra meditation it will help a lot too um definitely use law of attraction for sure because i feel like this you have a really good imagination you have a really good i feel like this person who picked this power you probably a really creative person or you'll be able to think outside the box and uh that is very good for law of attraction okay but the thing is that the thing that blocking right now is that those trauma that happened to you in the past that's kind of like blocking your heart a little bit and attracting only the people who are similar to your past you know what i mean like you if you look back into love romantic situation in your life you will see that there's a lot of pattern like most of the most of the people that you have been dating they have similar behavior okay so the also another thing that you can attract more loving relationship or not become single is also to break out of your habit for example if a person like you and you always text them first or you always like so caring to them just like maybe stop doing that maybe maybe it's just instead of texting text them like once a day you text them like three times a week or something like that like don't have to care about that person that much like especially in the beginning of relationship if you care too much they will use that against you okay i love you guys so much i hope this is really insightful for your love life in the future i wish you the best of luck and i hope that by the end of this year you will not be single anymore i wish that for you so much if you don't want to be single okay um if you want to find someone i wish that for you so much and if you like my reading please click like and subscribe and ring a bell to know of my new video and if you want private reading with me you can look in the description box as well i love you so so much and i will see you next time bye okay power number two let's see what your reading is about why are you still single why are you um still not have a boyfriend or girlfriend yet let me see first of all you have beloved one outdoor crystal quail quailing intentions or the blue energy and then you have take a chance on love simple acts of kindness the union of the heart And then you have the lover wow six of pentacle and then you have the moon worry relationship family kids love yourself and then maybe i'll put this here the moon building blocks all that glitters and uh flexible so first of all i want to talk about the stone first like the stone meaning that you were chosen the first stone that we are talking about is turquoise turquoise stone is 
the stone about truth is enhancing your communication is protecting you from bad negative energy and also it bring you strength in yourself building strength within yourself for this blue another blue stone which is so delight so delight is boosting your communication especially with the angel it will release the anger within your life and create orders within your life okay and also it also boosts self-esteem as well wow and i also want to say that you pick blue and then you have my angel card you have two blue energy colors so i feel like communication is key for this communication is key for your relationship in term of you want to upgrade your relationship so you don't want to be single anymore the way to do that is for you to practice communication better um i feel like maybe the past the people who are you are dating or talking to the communication has been very difficult they probably say something that you don't like and you get upset or you probably say something making them doesn't like you or something like that or maybe you st say tell them too much you know sometimes when you tell people too much they can be very um they can like put a automatic block in their heart like automatically uh, i i am actually a little bit like that when i like someone when i love someone i always tell them everything i love communicating with them you know but in the past this has been backfired on me too so i feel like um you also might be having that problem as well or you might be not not good at communication maybe you don't like to talk maybe you don't like to communicate so much or maybe you you don't like someone who talk too much or maybe the person you're talking to they don't communicate to you a lot you know they would just like be gone for a few days and come back and say like hi how are you you know like with a really short sentence you know like that could be the obstacle for the relationship to move into a boyfriend girlfriend situation or even like marriage okay this communication thing you really need to do a lot of meditation with your throat chakra um, when you do this meditation you need to focus like a ball of blue light around your throat i feel like i also have that too that's why I, I have thyroids like I have like a like a lump on my throat um, a thyroid and you know when I read is also indicating that your communication skill is not good and I feel like yeah probably is true because like some people in my life like sometimes when I say stuff you know maybe I am Aquarius too so sometimes when I say stuff it can be a little bit sound harsh you know but I don't mean to because like I, I feel like I don't have the best intention for everybody but sometimes like my words doesn't come out right and I feel like you probably have that like energy as well maybe you like have good intention but sometimes you use the wrong word or something like that or you know like or maybe you like let them know too much about you or something like that you know so that could be your energy as well also with the um for some people I also see that there's just a lot of information about long distance relationship too or the person that you are with they are not with like near you that much so you need to communicate it by the phone by talking by you know just social media and sometimes it can get like a uh, really slow in term of communication and sometimes it's very uh, annoyed you and making you feel this like energy inside that is not good for loving relationship okay or just even the first step of dating and having relationship with someone before being boyfriend and girlfriend yet you know so that is can block you as well and for those of you who are like a minority of you th this might not resonate to everyone but there's some people that are in long distance relationship this also could be like a problem like maybe you have been always dating or talking to someone with a long distance like long distance relation like they are not live live around your place so you didn't get to really have the 3d touching or like like you always talk on the phone and like uh, and at the end you they were like oh they wanted to date someone like near 
around them so they can touch they can hug they can kiss you know so maybe that is your problem as well and also some of you i feel like some of you also might already have a child or you you like talking about children too fast i feel like um sometime uh if if you are a girl watching this Sometimes a guy will bait you with like, oh, I feel like I want to marry you. I feel like and I want to have kids with you, and you get excited and you start talking to them a lot about it, and they starting to get scared. You know what I mean? So I feel like for these people who pick this pal, if your partner, the person you are talking to or dating, if they start to talk about marriage, kids, and wedding, I feel like you shouldn't get like so excited with it, like. Especially like if you are not boyfriend girlfriend yet, if you just like talking normal, I feel like it it make them a little bit scared. Even you are if you are a guy watching this and you starting to talk about children, kids, family, marriage like too early, um, they gonna like the person that you're talking to. Even though they might respond a little bit back, but inside they're probably scared as well. So this is like. This is just a really small example, but actually everything is about communication because, like I said, if you talk too much, if you tell them too much, sometimes the the person that you are talking to they can be stressed. You know what I mean? Like, they can be very stressed. Um, they already have their own life to, that they need stressing about. But then when you talk about like this and that and this and that, and putting them too much information, you know, like when computer or when a Uh, the phone is overheated with too much memory. Uh, you don't have a space for storage. The phone can just like freeze. You know what I mean? Or co- your computer can freeze. The same thing as well. If you give too much information or too little information, it's kind of like blocking the 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 hard drive or the in like the the flow within the. Energy about love, so I feel like you need to control your communication skill as well while you're talking to that person. And I also feel like there's also a really strong indication that the person that you are dating, they probably think you are too much. Like in not in a like a like the worst way. It's just that, for example, you always I feel like I have this energy of this person who watching this. Um, who pick this pal? You always look glamorous all the time, or you always look proper, well dressed, or you always like talking about success and blah blah blah, and it make them intimidated. You know, like because like especially if you are a girl, or even if you are a guy watching this, like nobody wants someone who are. Too much, or who, who like a hard work, you know what I mean? That's why like the guy always end up marrying the simplest girl ever. But you know, for the girl who always do makeup, do hair, dressing so glamorous, like they like a little bit like mm, maybe this is not wife material because they think that you are too much. But actually, you are not. You are the perfect wife material. But sometimes you can like see a little bit like too glamorous or too high maintenance, and they can be a little bit scared about that. And I feel like you have been attracting a lot of. Admirer and lover, okay. There are a lot of people admiring you, and because of your glitz and glam, you are, um, you feel like even though you are not high maintenance, okay. I don't feel like you are high maintenance, but like the way you put yourself together is kind of like making them feel like, uh, I I might. Like for example, if they like you, they might feel like, oh my god, maybe I will not get this person. They look so, um, higher level than me. Maybe I shouldn't ask them out or something like that. You know. So, um, one advice for you, um, also to maybe if you have Instagram, maybe like all the photo be like super glamorous. Like maybe some photo it can be a little bit chill, like T-shirt and, uh, with your dog with at home chilling. You know, like, um. Show them that you are not what you look like. Then like show you are, um, like a little l- relaxed moment. Not every everything have to be perfect, okay? Because I can see you look like a queen. You look like the star. And you know, like um, you look like the moon. You look so pretty. And uh, also have to control your emotion as well. I feel like communication is key. If you feel very emotional, I feel like um, that could be the thing that also blocking. As well, so um, especially for girls, like I don't want to like blame this on period, but every girl have it, you know. Like we, I even I like I hate it when it's like during period time. I always like 
so emotional. So I feel like yes, if you will be able to like if you know like oh my period is gonna come soon, like you know your emotion gonna get really high. Like maybe don't go out on date or don't talk to them so long. You know, I I just want to stress that for this. Group, you need to really control how you speak to people, or how you even like not even communicate in terms of voice, in terms of the way you look, the way you present yourself. That is the key for you to have a boyfriend or have a girlfriend. That you need to know how to present yourself well. Okay, like because when people love you, when people like you, they look at you at first sight, and then they. Understand when they understand you more, and some people just look at you from the outside and they say like, no, 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 she's so high maintenance. He look like he's so high maintenance. Oh, he like look like a fuck boy. I don't want to date him. You know, like those initial reaction when people see you. That's very important too. It's about communication too. I love you guys so so much. Oh, I also want to say about self love as well. Love yourself, okay. Don't give in too easily, and uh, um, I love you guys so 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 much. And if you like my video, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and click like and ring the bell to know of my new video as well. I love you guys so so much. And also, if you want to win a free reading giveaway this month, I'm giving out. To winner for YouTube, okay. So you can try the free reading giveaway as well. And also, if you want my private reading, you can have it as well. You can look in the description box, okay. I will see you next time. Bye. Okay, part number three with green colored stone. Okay, let's see what's your reading. It's gonna be why are you still single? Embrace your emotion. Actions speak louder. Forgiveness. Oopsie. Deep healing. Free yourself. Express your love. And uh, six of one. The chariot. And then eight of one, never ending story, exchanging gift here and now, spread your wings, spiritual understanding. Clairvoyance. Okay, for people who pick this pile, let's talk about your stone first. Your green colored stone. Okay, your green colored stone. Um, your first stone is jade. Um, represent luck. If you wear jade, it's gonna be it's gonna bring luck, luckiness, to come into your life. Okay, it also will create harmonies. Body, body, spirit, and soul. Also, is also heal your heart chakra as well. Increasing health, you'll be very healthy if you use jade. And also with the malachite stone, it's also a healing stone as well. Is enhance your imagination, willpower, and creativity. Is increase immune system. Open your heart to love and bring royalty, trusting into relationship. Okay. So yes, definitely from the stone, we already see that you have a really hard time trusting someone. You are right now being blocked. But blocked in the heart chakra by some trauma that happened happened to you in your childhood when you were younger, and uh, 
this energy is creating health problem for you you probably have migraine or you probably have like a backache or some kind of like aching or maybe every winter you seem to have a really bad flu or a cold or something like that it's it's kind of like blocking the relationship um you know like for example like if you have a really bad headache you cannot like you cannot go on date when you talk to someone it doesn't seem to be that much flow because your body is hurting your body is hurting and you just can't express positivity right now because your your body is aching so first of all the people who are single in this pile that pick this pile i want you to go to gym i want you to first prioritize your health because i feel like um there's an energy that i'm feeling that your partner the person that meant for you your soulmate or even your twin flame they are really concerned about this kind of health exercise they are very active person as well it could be sagittarius like fire side energy a lot of fire side energy that i'm um, reporting here fire side energy leo aries and also sagittarius they they probably have this side in in their birth chart okay and these with like people with fire energy um they already they, they can be very fast thinking and fast doing and if you can't follow that it's gonna be blockage into your um relationship or moving up to become boyfriend and girlfriend because they want someone that is active with them want to move around with them want to go hiking with them or like do the activity like go to fitness with them or even like eating healthy okay so that's why the angels want to tell you to like be a little bit more um healthy especially with your heart as well like not only that your body that you need need to take care of is also your heart as well you need to make your heart healthy um how to make your heart healthy is that clearing away all the sadness forgiveness if you in your life right now if you like hating someone or i mean it's not even hating somehow it's like maybe a friend wrong you and you always like keep thinking back to that friend or once in a while you'll be like mm, i don't like this you know you have to cleanse that like send a lot of forgiveness and love to that friend or maybe it's your parents or someone in your family that hurting you somehow or maybe your teacher in the past like they are not appreciating you as a person you need to like forgive all these people around you that give you the toxicity the negativeness forgive them when you forgive people forgiveness is making your heart become bigger it's making your heart become clear and clean and become ready to receive all the happiness okay because i have an energy of you at in your room sometimes especially when you just go out with your friend like drinking and stuff coming back home crying or like on special holiday or sometime you will get this depression that make you like sad and want to cry or maybe you watch a really like romantic movie and but you cry you know because you wanting that you want those relationship in your life but right now like the energy of the car the power car want you to free yourself from all these energy like they want to free you from this energy that is blocking your heart right now the uh, forgive them forgive the people who like for example like if your ex or someone that you've been dating and they don't do like they don't like you know forgive 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 all the people that are hurting you and sending you bad energy okay that is the key as well and i also want to tell you that um expressing your love is the most important thing this card is expressing your love is not only mean romantic relationship okay my love card expressing your love like normally when this card come up i would say like communication blah blah, blah. but in this reading for you for this power people about expressing your love is mean that you need to forgive you need to express you need to give even if you don't want to see that person anymore you don't want to communicate with that person anymore that you you have the bad energy about you can send them like send them express your love through the air forgive them and when you forgive them enough like all this trauma or the blockage in the heart chakra will go away okay because i feel like um there's a lot of heart chakra energy that you need to cleanse right now also the angel also want to tell you that there's a, there's some blessing that's gonna come into your life but for now it's for you to take care of yourself um you are the present you are 
you know like the christmas present that that when it open up it gives so much love and gives so much happiness for the people who who be able to enjoy enjoy you okay so that will be your soulmate or your twin flame that will get to enjoy you if the inside you are you are not positive you are in a negative vibration you don't give out you know happy positive um, energy then the the person that come and date you or wanting to get to know you more they can feel that energy within you even though you pretend to be happy go lucky but like if in the inside your spirit and your heart and your sadness is inside when you come back home alone they will feel that you know because sometimes like you don't even have to tell people they can feel how you feel so first thing first for those of you who pick this power is to make your heart healthy make your spirit healthy make your body healthy and keep the healthy relationship if people who are toxic towards you just run away from it take a step back don't talk to them for a while because i feel like there's some um, toxic toxic people is in your life right now and uh, also i also want to tell you like maybe that someone is like have a secret admirer admiring you also but i feel like you don't like them i feel like you don't like them in that way okay so to make it um less hard on those people you can send them love energetically and wish them to go and find their soulmate okay because like there's some of you there's are people that uh, really want to get you but you just feel like oh no you know like you just don't feel like you want that person so yeah like that's a like a, or maybe it's you yourself you want someone but they acting like they don't want you or they just like no communication to you and you just feel so down um don't be just send them love and you know like if they're not into you then you can just hang out with someone that really take care of your heart okay so right now i just want you to be free of the trauma shame free of um negative energy like you know take like some time off for, with the people or with the thoughts of those people that like making you feel upset okay and heal your heart because i feel like people who pick this power you have like a childhood trauma um you need to do like childhood trauma meditation um to be able to clean cleanse that cleanse that as well or maybe it's from your past life as well um i love you guys so much i hope you love this reading okay i hope this will help you a little bit um with your um singleness i hope that within this year uh, you will get to have a boyfriend if or girlfriend if you really want to okay i i want you to have that so much if you are looking for forward to that you can do also a love spell that i have in my channel as well law of attraction to attract you love faster okay i will put it in the corner here in the card so you can see so you can um try law of attraction because i have to try an error and i perfected it so it will be very good for you to do that i love you guys so much if you want to do a private reading with me you can look in the description box this the cheapest one is 3.99 and also if you want to um be my subscriber if you are new to my channel please do i wish you so much love and um light bye okay last pile with translucent stone with rose quartz and opal these two are really common stone that people use a lot uh, i will tell about the property of the stone later because i feel like it's really connected with this reading okay let's open the card first you have brilliant idea relationship harmony passion new life happy happy treasure island king of pentacle three of sword queen of sword a lot of air sign and earth sign energy get to know each other 
look to your inner strength demonstrate love healing family issue flirt and uh, new love wow So people who pick this pile, first of all, I want to tell you about the stone first. The meaning of stone with the rose quartz is to attract love. If you want love in your life, I recommended you to buy rose quartz to have in your house, to have in your room, or even use it as a bracelet so you can wear it to attract love into your life, okay? This is also is about healing the heart. Everything that... um within your heart that you have not resolved in your life um, you use you can use this stone to resolve your love okay for example like uh, my cousin i have like a rose cut bracelet okay and you know like my cousin always like having a really big fight with his boyfriend so i gave him my rose cord to wear and uh, you know the next day like they stopped fighting and they stopped fighting for a while now too so I feel like working with rose cord is very good if you like have a really bad communicating with someone especially about love it will be very good for you to use rose cord and about healing as well because I feel like this pal people you guys need a lot of healing inside your heart okay and also you got an opal which is gonna bring also love for you as well wow you got like the two stone that bring love into you increase your self-worth and it's also a protection stone as well it's also encourage a psychic and mystic vision so you can see people um so you can have like a kind of like a third eye so you can see people uh, intention more clear and also it also increased wealth as well so definitely i want to talk about first which is like this card is always very dramatic when i when like this card come up so i feel like this card is indicating that you probably um been hurt a lot with in love there might be um some trauma happen in love a lot um uh, maybe like triangle love four angle love or when you're starting to talk to someone they start talking to someone else or those kind of like energy that like always coming up like for example if you want to like someone suddenly someone else is coming in their life too and you they like you go and look in their instagram they were like dating someone or those kind of thing that or they talk to you for a uh, really a lot like and suddenly they don't text you anymore like those kind of energy that kind of like um uh, there's a third hand fourth hand that come into this love connection before you got to be boyfriend girlfriend and uh it never reached there because there's always like a third party or the fourth party fifth party coming in it's not like that person is a fuckboy or anything but they're just like trying on a lot of people and i feel like there's a lot of people come and flirt with you or they just flirting with you but never serious okay there's always been always a new love coming in always you always manage to have a date you all manage to talk to someone and then suddenly it's gone again so it's kind of like for you it's very hard to for you to take the next step to get to the next step of being not single okay so right now i want to tell you this new person that's gonna come into your life they're gonna have earth sign energy like capricorn virgo and uh, taurus or it can be air sign which is aquarius libra or gemini or maybe you yourself i feel like maybe some of you might be an earth or an air sign yourself okay so definitely i feel like you have been um either you have been single for a really long time or you have been dating quite a lot and it never reached the boyfriend girlfriend it's very hard for you to reach girlfriend boyfriend or if you are reaching that 
um, you're only dating for a really short while and then you guys broke up um, it's kind of like that energy heart is suggesting that in order for you to move past this singleness if you in order for you to have a relationship or boyfriend girlfriend with someone or even take a next step to be like a wife or husband to someone you need to heal your family issue okay that's ancestral um, energy issue that come with you even before you born it came with you so you need to cut the pattern within your family pattern okay there's a pattern that that's why you born into this family okay there, there's a pattern within your family it's making you um, like uh, not like um fully um, cleanse your heart and if you be able to heal the family trauma first it's gonna be very good for your next step in love okay because i feel like most of the time you are like you are happy and single like people who pick this pile i feel like you are not sad like you are not in those type of mood that like oh am i i am single but i'm sad like i'm sad all the time like oh but you feel like every challenge every day is a new challenge you feel like every dates that you go or every guy or girl that come and talk to you you feel like very uplifting but then sometimes you also like you have so much passion for them okay but sometimes you feel like oh like how come i put so much effort in it but this person like doesn't ask me to be his girlfriend or her boyfriend yet like you feel like you have been like putting effort you have been positive you have been doing the right thing how come like it doesn't move into the next relationship i feel like because I feel like um, there might be like one side that um, I feel like there might be um, something that happened too fast too soon like for example like you probably the person who always like when you like someone you know it right away and you wanted to pursue them but for them they don't like they don't want that like the person that are into you they they maybe they might seem that they are very fast about it too but in reality like they just want more time I feel like um you just need to be a little bit uh, slower in your movement about love i feel like i know i feel like maybe the people who are picking this power you fall in love fast okay or maybe you do things well, you want to move to another level really fast you, you cannot like wait but i feel like um, the card is just saying in order for you to move on out of this singleness is for you to move in love relationships slower like focus on yourself and you know like give love to you so actually healing the trauma family trauma issue and it like the love will move faster okay i feel like you are the person who always give love to everybody and especially the person that you are liking the most you always give love to them and i feel like sometimes people don't appreciate it they don't appreciate the, your love and you know like and sometimes they feel like it's moving too fast okay it's moving too fast or they're not sure whether you are flirting or you are serious okay so i feel like you need to like move a little bit slower um be happy uh, being single first because i feel like you'll be able to happy within yourself while you're single then you'll be able to give love like a good amount of love to other person because right now you have been um uh, I, I can say a little bit too serious about a person like for example if someone is like if you like someone you become focused on them you're really serious like even if you don't show love to them even if you don't attack them so much but because they can sense that you are too focused on them even though you don't text them or whatever but like energetically people can feel if you will like if in order for you to like find new love and can get into another relationship i feel like you need like a bumper like a uh, like for example if you find a guy that like a guy na named a you like this a guy so much and then you already know it has starting to feel already that you think about him 24 7 you need to immediately um keep your mind into something else like find a new project um maybe like do home renovation or like um do gardening like focus on something else or like hanging out with friends for you to not focus on that person too much because they, like people can feel energetically if they're focusing on you too much and they don't like it's like feel when people focus on you too much it's like feel claustrophobic okay you need to give a little bit time you need to like um put your mind into something else and then 
those people will like feel like they're missing you or something so they might like text you first or something like that okay i love you guys so much i hope this reading is um helping you in some way and if you want a private reading with me um it's only three ninety nine dollars the cheapest one so you can look in the description box okay to do that and i wish you uh, if you don't want to be single anymore i wish you to have a boyfriend or girlfriend within this year or become married or something okay within this year um i love you guys so so much and uh, please click like and subscribe if you are new to my channel and uh, i will see you next time with new video bye